Stephanie Mullen back with you to show you how to easily stylize your edit with Rampant's Flash Transitions using Final Cut Pro 10. Now before we get started, I want to remind everyone that you can head over to 4kfree.com and pick up some free Rampant effects right now. There's a sampling of every product Rampant sells, so you can download and try out some of these cool effects for yourself. Okay, let's go ahead and jump over to Final Cut. And as you can see here, I already have some footage on my timeline, and these two shots are great. But let's go ahead and easily add a transition to the edit points and quickly stylize our shots. So I'm going to stop that. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to go up here. As you can see, I've already imported some of Rampant's Flash Transitions. Now I went ahead and picked all the blue ones that I saw because I think the blue is going to look really nice against our gold field. So I have them in here. Now there are over 100, there are actually 150 transitions that come in this pack. So there's definitely something in there that would suit your video needs. Now. Before I bring down my transition to my timeline, I like to do something, and this is completely my personal style, you don't have to do this, but I like to mark the frame where it gets the fullest, where it's the brightest. So let's put a mark there. I'll show you down here in this one as well. So about right here, I like that, so that's a mark. So what I'm gonna, that allows me to do is when I grab this and pull it down here to my timeline, I can quickly match up my mark to my edit point. Very simple. And if, you don't, if it doesn't click there, snap there, remember you can always turn on your snapping over here. So now I have my flash transition in my timeline and I still can't see it. Well, that's because we have to work on the compositing one. That's the last step of this. So I click on my effect, go over to my inspector, scroll down to blend mode. I'm gonna change my blend mode from normal to screen. Okay, now if I go back here and rewind this, there you go. The transition's playing seamlessly. It's so nice. I love it and so easy. Now the last thing I want to point out is that we are using 4K effects in an HD timeline. Yes, this is a 1080 timeline with 4K effects. 4K is not scary, it's just bigger, which is kind of cool because it allows you to do some stuff that's that you can't do if the effects were actually in HD. So what I love about it is the basically the flexibility to do what I want to do with the effect. So I'm going to go over here to the inspector again. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take off in the spatial conform box. Right now our footage is being fit to fit in our 1080 timeline. So it's being kind of squished down automatically by Final Cut. So what I want to do is I want to change fit to none. That just made it go back to the 4K size. So you can test that by going up here to your transform uh, tab and you can look at scale. Now if I take my scale and I scale down, wait, there it goes. So see how big it is? So about 49, 47% or so, that's where the actual 4K size scales down to in the 1080 timeline. So we have a lot of room to play here without sort of degrading our image and making it scale bigger. So that's what we have there. Now, what's really cool is you can actually rotate this. Now, if I take this back up to 100%, okay, I'll just type in 100%. Now I can rotate this all the way around. Look at that. You can't even see the frame lines. That is amazing. So maybe I want my bright over there. or Maybe I want that green over there. Wherever I want, that's up to me. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. So let's go ahead and go over here to our timeline. Let's rewind that. Let's play this. There we go. It looks great. It's fantastic. So easy. So simple. Now it's kind of hard to see that because the transition kind of fills the frame. But you can really see that here. So this transition starts from the bottom and goes up. So maybe I want to delete this one and pull this one back down. I'm going to line up my marks to my edit point. I'm going to go over to the inspector, scroll all the way down to the bottom, click normal, change that to screen. And this is where I want to change fit to none. So if I rewind this and push play, it's a great transition. You'll see here at the beginning, the transition comes from the bottom. Well, maybe I want that transition to be on top. So let's click on it. Let's go over here to our inspector. We already turned it to none. Let's go up to our rotation and let's say, maybe I want it to be up here. Okay, so let's rewind this and push play. Look at that, it came out of the sky instead of out of the ground, I love it. I like that a lot better. See, you have so much room to be flexible and play and do what you want to do with the transition. That's awesome. And that's that. So easy, so simple to use. 
Easy transitions that stylize your, that will stylize your next video production in a snap. Seriously, in a snap. That's it. As always, keep those tutorial requests coming in. We love to hear what you want to see next. You can either comment here or hit us up on Twitter at Rampant Design or on Facebook at facebook.com slash rampant media. Of course, you can always find more tutorials at rampantdesigntools.com. Until next time, I'm Stephanie Mellon with Rampant Design. Thanks for watching. Bye.